If you head west out of Washington, D.C., you will enter Virginia. It's also known as the state for lovers. And like Maryland, its neighbor, it's also known for its love of agriculture. There is one place in particular that has made a name for itself on the agricultural map. Rockingham County, Virginia, and Virginia's Shenandoah Valley, just two hours away from Washington, D.C. Rockingham County is one of the largest agricultural communities in the state, so it's extremely important to support that. That's Jason Cooper. He's a horticulture extension agent with Virginia Tech's Cooperative Extension Program. We provide an education for local farmers as far as helping with educating them as to trends that are happening, things to look for. The Shenandoah Valley is home to four of the top five agricultural counties in Virginia, producing more than $1.2 billion annually in commodity sales. According to the USDA, Rockingham County is number one, with agricultural production sales at over $600 million. Economy-wise, it's huge for our area. The county is home to just 79,000 residents, but with three universities growing bigger and bigger every year, signs of new industry and development can be seen everywhere. But there are some things that still remain the same. Because agriculture is embedded in the fabric of the county, farmland preservation and conservation is taken very seriously. That's what the families know. That's how families have grown up, and that's still the main source of income for so many families in the area. There are 1,902 farms in Rockingham County. Unlike Montgomery County, Maryland, livestock sales hold the highest market value at 93 percent. Crop sales account for the rest. The county leads the state in poultry production. In fact, it's considered the turkey capital of the state. I'm sure there isn't a county in the nation that is not impacted directly or indirectly by agriculture. There is certainly no person, which is why it's so important that communities protect their natural resources. From the food that we eat to the flowers and plants in our homes and offices, the landscaping of our yards, our beautiful coastal waters and recreational hunting, all of it relates to our state's agricultural land use, so keep this in mind. For your news nightcap, I'm Amber Gerard.